What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, uh, we we had a massive battle with the, against the Swedish uh, near Paris, and we are now going on the offensive and attempting to engage these forces on Christiana. These cavalry, I don't know where they are. I can't see them. I assume they're probably somewhere over here. Because my priest is not in position. But let us engage. This in let us engage. So this force that's attacking up in Norway is going to be reinforced with another army being recruited in England, and they will send. These guys will be used to form a foothold. In so because we don't know where the cavalry is, I'm going to ignore fighting for that hill for now and instead. Go slightly off axis. I mean, the terrain's not great for artillery as it is. So I may even just leave this unit limbered up for now. I don't quite know where the best place to be is. Put some pikemen on each flank. Same with cavalry. And the general. So let's push up. Probably leave my guns alone. So obviously we're our artillery is auto engaging their artillery. Instead, I think we probably want to hit. To us, nothing of this of this garrison army is that much of a problem. It's these guys coming in that have all the heavy cavalry. I think we're going to want to put our artillery up on towards this hill. We'll probably end up having our infantry somewhere like here. Guns up on this hill. Really, I don't mind taking this. This I don't really mind this being a bit of a slow burn because it allows us to get more of their cavalry onto the map. gives our artillery something a bit more um, meaningful to shoot at rather than you know armed citizenry and so on so yeah they are pushing up Three folks firing on this horse guard unit. Oh, yes. Most of their forces within quick line range. Provincial cavalry needs to be careful. Let's run my pikes 
out on the flank because this is where their horse guard is. So I'm going to wait for them to get within range to receive a volley from the 61st Regiment. Folks firing the wrong thing. Let's try to get these guys out of that little gully. And the mortars, they're engaging now. Lifeguards and lifeguards. Yeah, no, don't push up too far. General to hit the heavy cavalry. Just to make sure we do enough damage to actually make them shatter. Friendly fire artillery. Which are engaging the fire lock arm citizenry. Get our line reorganized. Sure, my artillery are probably hitting. You hit them, you hit them. You guys just continue to smash their mortars. To be honest, actually, that's what my, my cavalry is going to do. The old artillery engage their infantry. Smashing my Swiss pikemen. Lifeguards of horse are getting pwned. There we go, we've smashed and hit their mortars. Pushed through the woods. Keep attacking them because they some of them are within our range. Our hussars are probably fast enough to keep up with their cavalry. Both my sets of guns hit the provincial militia. Chase them down, because you're probably you are good enough to chase them down. And those are all routing are those are routing troops? No, they aren't.
consolidate a new defensive position nearer the front. So they do have troops in the town that we need to knock out. Garrison light garrison infantry unit. You don't know what's about to hit you. There, there they go. Good stuff. Limber up the howitzers, let's move them up. Okay, let's consolidate our position at the edge of the town. fortifications pikes to go through the town cavalry to go with them let's get ready to engage the 23rd Militia, the 15th and the 74th are still on the field. And these guys are going to be the first... These guys are going to be the first to uh, hit our battle line, the 23rd. These poor souls. Some gorillas have shown themselves. Here they go. Marching into feel the fire. Artillery. Musketry. do they have to come in? Should be it, I think. Militia lifeguards of foot. Let's get my pikemen into charge and let's get some my heavy cavalry. To hit them in the rear. The 15th regiment of are in the next dangerous position. There we go. They've, they're unhappy they've been charged in the rear. And now they've got pikemen to contend with. Where's my general? Let's bring him up. 15th. Have not lasted well.
bunkers and limber and all aim at the 23rd. And these men are completely surrounded. So I'm lure these guys in to go the way I want them to go. Fifteenth, just very poorly. Oh, it comes all the quick line. These guys are sticking around quite valiantly as they're forming and rallying around the, their their standard. It will not save them. Get all my field artillery to engage the 15th. Quick climb is enough to. You, you guys are enough. Heavy horse guards chase down the 23rd foot guards. These two units are enough to hit the 74th regiment of foot. Stop firing all my guns. Bring my general over here, ready to hit the Western Western European mercenaries. But bear in mind that Swedish infantry does receive bonuses, or well, they are they are good in melee combat. Let's try to see if I can get my general his first experience. The lifeguards afoot are going to rout. Hold on. Those militia. As all of my guns pivot, ready to hit the seventh regiment of militia. How it is a firing. Quick climb is inbound. Ooh. Yeah, he lost 200 of your men almost immediately there. Uh, we are going to continue. Just because these units are, or uh, well, some of them, are actually reinforcements rather than garrisons. So it's in our interest to uh, make sure they die. because they may be running around the countryside and causing us hassle. Come on. Fourteen men. Five, two, one, boom. That wasn't a close victory, that was a good... So they've not got many men left at all, wherever their uh, other army was. Just across the river. Makes sense. The city doesn't hate us, so we're going to replenish as much as we can and demolish this College of Divinity. And probably... Hmm, probably the Steam Dry Dock as well? Still, earns us 1,800 quid and it's cash that they're not going to get. And we're up to 40,000 now. Which is pretty darn decent. Okay, turns of technology. Two turns to get platoon firing. Let's get the increased training level and the, the better uh, army administrator skills. Then we'll unlock the staff college, which we will definitely want in Paris. Then we're going to start getting on towards... Riflemen. Riflemen and guards. Guards. Right, let's hit enter.
So my priest is still marching his way up towards Scandinavia. They're definitely building for an attack. Could probably do with recruiting some more reinforcements to sit behind Venice, just to make sure they can't penetrate into northern Italy. So Sweden. Yeah, they're falling back to Stockholm. They're going to have to do something. But they don't seem to uh, know what to do about my northern hook. Which I'm happy about. So yeah, you're just trying to walk your way. You get up to Copenhagen because you're going to be. That's where you're going to be going. Okay, I've got the Jesuit College me jumping across. Upgrade that. Upgrade the mine. Upgrade the Iron Master's works. Build you into a church school. March you towards Stockholm. Although, to be honest, he's really good, so we're probably not going to be able to do much about him unless we kill him. You guys are replenished. Okay, let's recruit. Can't recruit Admiral's flagship first rate. Oh, I've got enough. Right, okay. Let's recruit heavy first rate to put my put in my put my admiral in. There we go, recruit another three second rates. Mio sire. Signor Sid. Oh, oh. Lag, lag, lag. Okay, you're now going to preemptively start marching up north to fill out those armies. Let's upgrade this trading port because it's cheap. It's only two and a half thousand. To keep an eye on this fella to make sure uh, we don't over upgrade him or over convert him. Actually, we can start taxing you now. It's 2000 extra per turn. Actually, let's before we do that, let's hop over to the Americas. Can you leave yet? Minus six, not yet. Let's pick up a new upgraded port. probably take you out. You can just about manage that. And then rather than recruit a general because we don't really need it, let's pick up getting all that artillery. Oh, that's being recruited to go up towards France, isn't it? Yeah, let's get a Swiss Pike unit as well. Because I want to fortify the garrison. Really? Okay, Spain, Savoy, France, Alsace Lorraine. Yep, our spies are doing good work. Angelo Di Benetti, Di Benetto. Disembark, or disembark. Him, sorry. Let's sail him. To be honest, he could probably just be dumped off here. Probably can't get any closer than that. No. I 
thought I so thought he was going to run straight into <laughs> the Russian Navy and this army get destroyed. But to be honest, can you guys even leave? Minus two, just. I'll leave you in there for a turn. You need to replenish anyway and I don't want anything to be broken. Yeah, they, ch they found us in Berlin. Good clamour. I clamour for a form. Actually, do I take you? Send you to Berlin to start to try and stir up religious unrest. And draw troops away from the front lines. It's probably a good idea. Because this is thousands of men in here. They've got to garrison Amsterdam pretty rigorously. One more turn to platoon firing. Sweet. Okay, let's head in turn. my reinforcements grow in strength the Ottomans do concern me it's probably why the army in tune is doesn't strictly need to be there but I'm not going to move it because I have no I have no desire to move them at the moment because it behooves me to keep them safe so they can respond to the most dangerous trouble spots if the Ottomans declare war on me. Because right now, our push into Swedish territory is pretty... Valuable. Yeah, there comes that army of guard cavalry back. Oh, I thought you were going to come within range again. I definitely need to build up another army behind, uh, <laughs> behind that bridge, <laughs> bridgehead, which is probably where that the army that I'm currently building. That's Catholic missionary Tunis. Much on to Cairo. Platoon firing researched. Is that the best thing for you to do? Carronades might not be bad. But we're getting quite close to having everything researched, which is pretty good. Okay, let's spend. So as we're building a missionary mission here, we don't need you here anymore. So you can probably get on towards Jerusalem. Venice is recruiting serious amounts of firepower. So this army, that's where you'll go. You'll go over here. Successful missions across the board. Lots of good spy traits. 42 grand is what we're on in terms of income. So... Spend 20 grand upgrading both these global trading companies just to boost the amount of money we earn through London. You are being built. You guys can now move out. So I might push you guys down the coast. See, they've got a navy. It's not a bad one. In position, Vostra Maestra. Trade their uh, trade route. One more turn to get a bunch of ships, and then let's just keep building. Let's probably build a third rate up here as well. Okie dokie. So I do want machine rifling, but I need to upgrade this fellow to an army staff college next turn. I probably do want to take you guys and intercept. Lars Sodablam. Yeah, so that's the army we fought previously, and they've gathered up some reinforcements. But, looking at the timer, 
I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for con the continuing adventures of our Italian forces conducting their offensives in Sweden. Cheers everyone.